Hey guys, Grifton here, and today I decided to make a video about different add-ons that I use. Uh, some people asked me about a couple of them, and I figured I'd just make a video covering the five most important ones, in my opinion, for bear tanking. Uh, I also wanted to take a quick second to thank anyone that's subscribed so far. I've hit 100 subscribers, which is a big deal for me. I originally made this channel just as a fun thing to do, and now I'm doing it more often and having a really good time. So I appreciate the feedback and the comments and all that good stuff. Uh, so if you are interested in more content about bear tanking, please feel free to subscribe as well. Uh, all right, let's talk about the different add-ons. So the first one I'm gonna talk about, which I think is one of the most important, is details. So on my screen right here, uh, you can see I have a little, uh, it says tiny threat. This is part of details. And this is the main part. It's gonna show you how much threat you have on a particular target and also how much threat other people have on the target. So you know when you're about to lose threat. So uh, the main thing you want to use this for is if you're single targeting a boss uh, and someone's starting to creep up, you can call out, be like, hey, hunter, feign death, hey, rogue, feign, hey, priest, uh, whatever you could do. I think it's fade. I think that's right. Um, or whatever it is, whatever, whatever the case is, press that button that helps you not take uh, damage when you, you know, when you pull aggro. Uh, that's, that's what this is for. Uh, it's it's kind of like an early warning system for when you're about to lose threat. This is also good for like maybe five bands when you're targeting multiple targets and you want to make sure to, uh, you know, check all of them to make sure where the threat's at. You can hop around and just check this really quick to see. Um, I'm going to kind of give a, a better example on my screen, maybe with like a night bane. I'll put that up there. And you can get an idea of like what it normally looks like with a bunch of people uh, filled in. Uh, but yeah. So that's how details is, and I definitely think you should have this as a bear. It's I want to say it's a requirement. Uh, the next item is item rack, actually. Uh, if you don't use item rack, it's probably a little bit of a headache when you have to switch from cat to bear. So let me, uh, let me take it off my, my mouth for a sec. Okay, so right now I'm in... Let me turn, so there we go. Right now I am in bear gear. Uh, if you look, this is my bear gear. But uh, let's say someone's like, hey, I need a DPS. Instead of having to go through and switch all my items or maybe make a macro, I could just build out an item rack that corresponds to whatever I want. And then I can just click a button. I have it bound. So I'm going to switch to DPS. But let's, here, let's switch back. If you don't want to do a bind, you can click here and just click on the DPS symbol and it will switch right there for you. It's instant. Obviously, you still have to be out of combat to use this because you can't switch gear in combat. Um, but it is very handy, uh, especially if you're constantly going back and forth between bear and cat. It's really good. And on top of that, if you've got your character screen open, you'll see that you can quickly select different items that you might have here and there. Another really helpful tool. Uh, the next thing on my list is plater. So let's go back over to some mobs. This guy is... I, I was marking stuff up earlier. I apologize. I was demonstrating another add-on we're going to talk about in a second. Okay, so plater is the thing that's going to show above uh, the character's head, the NPC's head. And what this does is it gives you a quick idea of what's going on. So it'll show you um, buffs, debuffs. It'll also show you color-coded who has threat. So purple means I have threat. Light purple means another tank has threat. Yellow means I'm about to lose threat. And red means whoever it's targeting is not a tank. So you need to get threat. Um, sometimes it will also mean that it's just doing like a random you know, turn around and cast spell on someone thing, which isn't a big deal, but for the most part, red means bad. Uh, I'm going to put some clips from Karazhan up so you can see what I'm talking about when I'm taking with a paladin. It'll give you a good idea of how this works and why it's so helpful. It's a quick heads up idea of what's going on threat wise. This could also be used in five bands if you're, if you're hitting three targets and you can tab target around. Yes, you can look at tiny threat, but if you see something turn yellow, you obviously want to switch to that immediately and burn it down. Uh, or at least build some threat on it so that you don't have to worry about it running after the healer or the DPS. Uh, just a quick, like I said, a quick heads up of what's going on. Very handy. I would say, I would argue I can't, I can't bear tank successfully without this. It would make it very hard um, to figure out where the threat's at, especially as a bear. As a paladin, maybe it's not as important because, hey man, drop that consecrate and you pretty much hold threat. But as a bear, you need to kind of keep an eye on everything and this is a great tool for that. Okay, so the next um, add-on I'm going to talk about is actually what I was looking at just a second ago, and this is how I mark my targets. Now, I do have binds that allows me quickly uh, mark different targets. Uh, however, when I I don't have them all memorized the correct order. So let's say I want to mark this one uh, right here, a moon. Uh, I can't remember the bind. Instead, I can just double-click, and it will pull up this little circle. 
and I can just click the moon. Um, same thing for this, if I don't want it to be X anymore, or maybe I want it to be, uh, I don't know, triangle. I'm like, hey, this is hibernate this, or maybe we're going to, uh, you know, wrap it, whatever. It's just, this add-on is called uh, Simple Raid Target Icons, all one word. Simple Raid Target Icons. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, just a really quick, simple add-on I use for marking. Definitely, if you don't have anything, especially if you don't have binds, I definitely recommend this. It makes it so much easier, uh, especially for CC, to just quickly mark, you know, different targets. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all there is to that. And then the last one is Weakors, which I'm only going to briefly go over this because Weakors is actually a huge thing. So what Weakors does lets you create custom, kind of custom add-ons that give you information about what's going on. So um, one that someone pointed out was, I have a Druid debuff counter. So what these do are these individual Weakors are going to tell me, you know, where... The, where the debuff is on the counter when they get low. So instead of having to look at the debuffs at the top of their nameplate, which is normally what I do, or maybe down here. Um, here, let me put a couple debuffs on this dude. Okay, so he's got three. I'm going to go to the last three because that's a good one. So what this is going to do is it's going to show right here when something's about to fall off so I know to reapply it. So Mangle just came up. Okay, reapply it. No big deal. And we're going to keep waiting. Lacerate, okay? No big deal. So I can swipe. I don't have to worry about lacerate for a little while. And that's pretty much how it works for all of them. When it gets low, it's going to remind me, hey, you need to reapply this. And I do. And it's good to go. There are add-ons that do this. I believe it's called Here Kitty uh, that does this for you. I prefer to customize mine because I like to um, kind of control when they show up. I don't want to see everything. I know the way um, Here Kitty works. I think that's the add-on. Um, it's got cooldowns for everything, which is very handy. Uh, the way I do it, I personally like. Um, I will put this up on Wago so people can use it if they want. Uh, if they don't, no big deal, whatever. I also do a Druid self buff. This one's not as useful. Pretty much just lets me know when my buffs are about to fall off. Um, honestly, I do I do keep an eye on it. They pop up right here. And so when this gets down to two minutes, uh, I think this is five minutes and this is five minutes, it will let me know, hey, reapply your buffs. Uh, I Maybe I'll put that up there too. Uh, if, if look in the, for the links in the description if it's there there you go i decided to do it um some other ones i use is commas this is for cat but it's still very handy i like to have it i like to have my um my combo points right here so when i'm targeting somebody there's no oh, i don't want to move that oh, what's that I'm gonna put it right back there we go um so when it's targeting somebody here, let me show you all right so i've got one combo three combos there i've got my five so now i just go ahead and kill them um, and that's easier than having them down here or having them maybe up here, just right in the middle of the screen. I've used that for, I think, years since, like, mid-classic. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I don't think, I guess I can put that one up, too, up on the, uh, on the Weak Auras website. Uh, but, yeah, Weak Auras can let you do so many things. In fact, I use Weak Auras so that I can see my mana uh, when I'm in bear form. That's a Weak Aura. That's what's so cool about Weak Auras. It can let you do anything. Its main focus is to show you information. Another really powerful week aura I recommend is it's called Thames Tier 4 Pack. Now this is specifically for Tier 4 instances. What it does is it, it kind of works just like um, DBM or uh, Big Wigs, and it gives you a bunch of information about what something's going to happen. It's very helpful. It works just like them, except it's not in a uh, an, it's not an add-on. It's just a week aura. So you can delete stuff if you want. You can trim it down however you want. I like it because, especially early days of uh, classic TPC, we had some problems with timing with DBM and big wigs. I'm not a big fan of. It works fine. It's just, and I use big wigs now, but um, I end up using this as well, and it just gives me a little bit extra more information for me to be prepared for uh, when a fire damage is coming or maybe flame wreath is about to go off. When Blizzard's hitting me, it lets me know. Stuff like that, very handy, very helpful. I definitely recommend it. But Weak Aura is literally a can of worms. I could go for days talking about different Weak Auras that you can use. Um, but I think that's a pretty good place to start if you have those five. If you don't, definitely check them out. Try them. See if you like them. Post any questions you have. Or if you have recommendations for other add-ons, uh, post them in the comments because I'm sure other people would love to see what other bears are using. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my video. Take care.